Hey friends, it's Molly and welcome to practice. Today is day two of our beginner series. It's gonna be a 20 minute class. Again, we are camping on day three or four. We're in nature, so you know, excuse any squirrel noises or dogs running around, but um, we are enjoying the beautiful view. Um, today, since it's a beginner class, I recommend having two blocks or books or pieces of Tupperware, anything you can use to bring the ground up to you. <clears throat> Or what you can also have on hand is like a blanket or a pillow that you can use underneath your hips because we're going to get started in a seated posture, just crossing your legs like I am. If you want to take the option to bring the soles of your feet to touch and then splaying your knees out wide, that's great too. But I would recommend if you have trouble kind of spilling your pelvis forward to roll up a blanket or sit on a pillow. And then if your knees are dangling out in space and that's uncomfortable to you, please take the blocks and put them under each side. So find a comfortable seat. Close your eyes down, place your hands somewhere along your legs. And then just start by feeling your body ground into this space. So feeling sit bones down into the earth or down into the mat. Maybe on an inhale, you lift up through the crown of the head like where a high ponytail would be. Finding length along the spine. And then on your exhale, maybe you relax your shoulders down from your ears. Soften and let it go. As you get more comfortable, as you open up, let your knees drop heavy out to the side. So release any clenching you're taking in the hips and the groin. We'll take one more breath here to find your best version of an awake posture today. Exhale, open your mouth, sigh out all the air. Go ahead and open your eyes. My dog and the squirrels are having a standoff, so that's what's going on here. Um, we're gonna take some neck rolls, so I want you to drop your right shoulder over to your right ear. Feel that length along the left side of your neck. Take an inhale here, find some softness. And then exhale, drop your chin towards center. Inhale, left ear over to left shoulder. You can gaze up a little bit, find a little nod. Exhale, roll through center. Over to the other side on an inhale. Exhale, drop the chin. Inhale, over to the left. Exhale, drop your chin. One more time on each side. And we're learning how to move with our breath. So on an inhale, we stretch. On an exhale, we come through center. Over to the other side. Good, place your hands on your knees and then just take a little bit of a uh, rotation. So gaze over the right shoulder. Take two breaths here. Drop your shoulders down. Not forcefully shoving them in your back pockets, but just releasing them from your ears. And then look over the left shoulder, two or three breaths. Good, come back through center. Let's find some twists through more of the upper body and the thoracic spine, so the mid back. If you don't need your blocks anymore, go ahead and take them out. We're gonna keep our legs as they are. Bring your right hand behind your back. Inhale, lift your, lift your left arm high. And then exhale, twist over to the right. So left hand is gonna hook onto right knee. And we're gonna peel our right shoulder open. Inhale, come back through center. Both arms reach high. Exhale, left hand plants behind you. Right hand comes to left knee and we gaze over left shoulder. Movement with breath. Inhale, arms reach high, come through center. Exhale, twist over to the right. Inhale, come through center. Exhale, twist over to the left. One more time on each side. This time we're gonna hold it a few breaths. So inhale, stretch your fingertips super tall, find length through the spine. Exhale, twist over to the right. Left hand hooks and we breathe here. 
On an inhale, see if you can get taller through your spine. So stacking your segments one at a time, lifting up through the crown of the head. And then exhale, see if you can deepen the twist. So revolving the upper body around the spine. Again, inhale to lift. Exhale to twist deeper. Finding some broadness across your collarbones. Good, inhale through center, both arms lift. Exhale, we twist to the left. A couple breaths here. Inhale to grow tall. Exhale to twist deeper. Two more. Let your breath make its way through your chest, through your ribs, all the way down to your belly, even in this twisted position. You might even feel some cracks or pops. That's totally fine, should be a little relieving, as long as you're not forcefully jamming yourself into that position. We wanna use the muscles around our spine as well to actively bring us into this shape. One more breath. Good, inhale, come through center, arms reach high. We're gonna switch the cross of our legs. Maybe bring your feet out in front of you and just drop your knees from side to side. I call this windshield wipering our legs, giving the hips a little bit of release. And then come back to your seat. Whichever leg was in front, bring it behind. Find your posture first. Again, if you need any props, go ahead and use them. And then we're just gonna find some side bends. So right hand is gonna crawl out to the right side of the mat. Inhale, stretch left hand high. Exhale, twist, or not twist, lean over to the right. As if your elbow could drop down to the mat. If you're really open in your body, it might but I don't want you to sacrifice lifting up through the left hip. So pretend you had a sandbag down on your left thigh, weighing it down, sit bone is grounded. Inhale to inflate your left lung. Exhale, lean a little bit over. Inhale, stretch long out to the side through your left fingertips, like you could separate each rib space. Exhale, lean. Good, inhale, come through center. Both arms high. Exhale, left hand crawls out to the left side. Right arm stretches up and then over. Ground down through right sit bone. Inhale to inflate your right lung. Exhale, lean out over to the left. Two more breaths. Stretch along through the right side body. Exhale, soften into it. One more. Good, inhale, come through center. Exhale, hands to knees. We're gonna take that cow, cat cow motion. So we did it on hands and knees in tabletop last class. Today we're gonna do it here. What that means is just a simple arching and rounding of our spine. So on an inhale, we're gonna pull our hands back into our knees, thread or pull our heart through our shoulders. Maybe drop your head back. Exhale, tuck chin to chest, round your pubic bone, pubic bone up towards your navel, round through the mid back, upper back. Words are hard this morning. I'm just waking up from camping, which is never good sleep. Inhale, cow pose. Open up the front side of the body. Exhale, cat, round through the back body. Engage the front line. Inhale, cow pose. Exhale, cat. Really get all the air out of your system. And then inhale, really fill up your whole torso with breath. Find that nice rhythm. You don't have to be at the same pace as me. Just move with your inhales and your exhales. Arching and rounding the spine. Your neck can be as well in involved as much or as little as you want so if it does not feel safe in the body to drop your head back don't take that option good one more with your breath beautiful work all right we're gonna find our way into hands and knees so all fours don't mind my socks and chacos and then just find all four points of contact rounded into the mat. Find a neutral spine, so not arching or dipping. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. 
All right, so from here, we're gonna stretch our right leg long behind us, and then just shift forward and backward a few times, stretching out the back of the right calf. So leaning your way over the fingertips, and then back towards the palm. Couple more. Let it feel good. Perfect, come back to center. If you're able, I want you to lift your left, your right heel up towards the sky. So now only three points of contact are on the mat. If you need, you can use blocks for support. But the point here is to really engage your core. We're finding some asymmetry throughout the body. So if you can stay grounded through right palm of hand, lift your right heel a little bit higher. Try not to open the hips up to the right. So think about looking at your hip points and making sure they're parallel. Couple more breaths here. If you want the harder option, lift your left hand up and pretend you had a glass of water on your back. You don't want it to spill. So it's nice and still. We're not arching, dipping, swaying, any of that stuff. <laughs> Good, one more breath cycle. Exhale, release. And we'll switch them out. Left toes, ball of the foot is going to extend long. And then we lean forward and backward to stretch out the calf. If this is a lot of pressure on the right knee, feel free to put like a blanket or a towel roll underneath just to cushion a little bit more. Good. Next time we come to center with the body, lift your left heel from the mat. Pull left hip bone down to match the right, and then keep length through the back of the spine, crown of the head. If you want the harder option, lift the right hand as well. But if you find that you're really compensating and losing the balance, maybe just come onto fingertips first and then lift one finger at a time. Strong through the left glute and hamstring. Two more breaths. Good, such a good rehab exercise. That's called bird dog, in case you wanna do it again or look it up. Find your neutral tabletop. This time, I do want you to have your blocks handy if you have them, because we're gonna do a little bit of compression <clears throat> through the front body to bring our leg through, and it's hard work. So, as you get stronger, you can lower the setting of your block. On an inhale, stretch your right heel long behind you. On an exhale, curl your right knee in towards your body and step your foot through. So your right foot lands between your hands or between the blocks. Our low lunge position, inhale. Think about broadening through the collarbones, lifting heart forward. On an exhale, you can walk the blocks back a little bit. We're gonna straighten out into the right leg. You don't have to straighten all the way. Keep a little micro bend, but you should feel some length in the hamstring. This is our half splits, Ardha Hanumanasana. And then moving with the breath, inhale, low lunge. Maybe sink your left hip a little lower to the mat, but keep some engagement in your left glute. Exhale, straighten right leg, half splits. Inhale, bend into right knee, low lunge. Lift up through the chest. Exhale, lean your weight back. Straighten right leg, half splits. Two more times, flossing out the hips, using the blocks as much as you need. If you don't need that much help, lower the setting. Last one, good. Inhale, come to your low lunge again, and then just step your right knee back to meet your left. Inhale, stretch the left heel long, back behind you. Exhale, curl your left knee into your chest, and the foot comes all the way through between the hands. Bend deeply into your right knee as much as you have space for. Maybe sink your hips lower to the mat, but don't really arch through the low back. I want you to keep a little bit of posterior pelvic tilt. So that means drawing your pubic bone up towards your navel or your tailbone between your legs. This just prevents compensation through the low back. Engage that right glute, inhale, low lunge. Thread your heart through. Exhale, half split, straighten into left leg. Just enough till you feel a sensation on the left hamstring. Inhale, bend into left knee, low lunge. 
Exhale, straighten left knee, half splits, Ardha Hanumanasana. Three more with your breath. Inhale, pulling you forward. Exhale, sending you back. Good, one more. Come back to your low lunge shape. Step your left knee back to meet your right. And then put your blocks down either on the lowest, flattest setting. That's probably what I'd recommend. Or maybe on the middle setting. But let's start with the lowest. We're going to find a down dog. Auto Mukha Svanasana. So hands are spread out pretty far. Planted onto your blocks. Tuck your toes. Find a little bit of that core engagement. And then push the ground away as you lift your knees and send your hips high and back. Maybe find your stance walking out your feet a little bit. There should be length through the low back. So if that means you need to bend your knees a lot, totally fine. I'd rather have this than this. So length through the low back, length along the armpits and the side waists. Crown the head is stretching forward between your thumbs. And breathe here. Feel all four points of contact grounding. Feel all four limbs stretching long. Maybe as you open more, you're able to drop the heels closer to the mat and straighten your legs. But maybe not. That's totally fine. Good. If you need to take a rest, take a rest. Drop your knees. Otherwise, let's walk out our dog. So we're going to bend one knee at a time and straighten the other leg. Just to find a little movement in the body. Stretching down the back line. Good. If you need to take a break, again, go for it. Find your still shape again. And then we're going to move through a simple vinyasa. So what that means... Vinyasa is breath with movement, which we've been doing. So it's just an inhale is one motion, an exhale is another motion. An inhale is one motion, and we keep moving with our breath. So let's inhale in our down dog. Exhale, lower your knees to the mat. Inhale, stretch your heart forward. So we're coming into like an extended plank, but our knees are dropped. Exhale, lower as far as you can, bending into your elbows. And then lift back up on the same exhale. Inhale, stretch long. Broaden across your collarbones. Exhale, downward facing dog. Lift your knees, glide your hips back. Inhale in your down dog. Exhale, lower your knees. Inhale, pull your shoulders to stack over your wrists. Find your plank with knees dropped. Exhale, take a push up. Whatever variation you can do, we'll meet back. In our plank. Inhale, grow long through the spine. Active in the front core. Exhale, lift your knees, lift your hips. Downward facing dog. A couple more times. Inhale here. Exhale, drop your knees. Inhale, shift weight forward to plank. Exhale, push up. Inhale, plank. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, down dog. Exhale, drop knees. Inhale, shift forward to plank. Exhale, push up. Inhale, plank. Exhale, child's pose. So sit your hips back towards your heels. Stretch your arms long. And take three breaths just to finish out our practice to calm down, to soften. Good. One more inhale. One more exhale. Open your mouth. Sigh it out. Let it go. All right. And then take your time coming back to a seat. We are done with our practice for today. Hopefully it was around 20 minutes. Nice beginner mellow flow using props, finding motion through our spine, through our neck, through our hips, hamstrings, all that good stuff. Um, hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time. Thank you. 
I know.